I hope you've noticed, like the, the number work of this, the arithmetic, not that complicated. Number one is actually what you looked at last time in the last exercise, and you've seen this in previous years. The business in, in, end is really when, thank you, is really when you take these numbers and say, well, okay, what conclusion can I draw from it? And we will have a discussion in a minute. Let's focus on our numbers first. So for part B, you look at the equation that they give you, right? I'm actually just going to write that first. D equals YA on Y plus 12. Okay, now, first order of business is, because you've got a new formula, right? I'm going to take these pronumerals that I had before, and I'm going to get rid of them. Because they may or may not have anything to do with the way this new guy did his equation and so on. Okay? So, I have a y and I have an a. Where does the a come from? That's the easy part first. Mercifully, it is actually the same thing that it stood for before, so we got lucky on that one. But y didn't appear in the previous question at all. What is y? Child's age in years. It's the child's age in years. You see how much of a payoff it was that we paid careful attention to units last time. Okay? So this is in fact not y. This is actually, well, it's, it's much too big to be y. Okay? So in order to get this, y is going to be equal to, now how many months are there in a year? Oh. 12, which is a bit of a pain, right? I have to take 16 and rather than divide by 10, which is what I usually do, like decimal points and so on, I have to divide by 12, and in case you didn't know, we actually used to have 10 months. Did anyone notice that? Like, what's the last month of the year? December, D-E-C, -D like Decagon, or like de anything that starts with deck is 10. Um, does anyone know why we have 12 months? Actually, yes, go ahead. Julius Caesar and Augustus Yep, so Julius Caesar, that's where we get July from. Augustus Caesar, that's where we get August from. And because they were emperors, they're like, Emperors have to have 31 days in the month. We can't be like a substandard month. We have to have 31. So that's why poor February gets shafted and only usually has 28, except for this year. Okay, so that's why we're dividing by 12. Okay. So pay careful attention when you put these in. When, you, um, when you're evaluating this, and I'm just going to put the actual just straight substitution before I get to my calculator. This one here is 16 over 12 plus 12. Sorry, that's 20. Beg your pardon. That's the adult dosage. And on the denominator, I have that 16 over oh, times. I have 16 over 12 again, plus 12. I was doing the denominator first. Okay. So this is fine. I can put this into my calculator if I want. Bit of a royal mess, though. Can we think back to some of the um, work we were doing with fractions before to make this a bit neater? Is there anything we can do? 16 over 12? Like, I can yeah. simplify that. Surely I can simplify that, right? Could what would you write instead? 1.3. Okay, you can either go 1.3. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Or if you want to be exact, you can replace that with 4 over 3. That, that's exactly the same. Okay. Now, once you go to your calculator, you're going to get, if you pop it in properly and be careful with your brackets and your fraction line, etc., you should get exactly 2. Yeah? On the money? Okay. Now, um, if you have a look at part C, part C, thankfully, is pretty much as straightforward as A. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you the answer. If I recall, I think... It rounds off to 2.3, like 2.2 something or other. Yeah. yeah, it comes up to 2.3. Okay, great. We have our answers now, but what do we do with them? Because they're all different. Did anyone have an answer that they came up with and want to offer their reason why? Any takers? Oh, yeah. what reason no? why? I just averaged them all. Okay, so a reasonable thing to do, and I had a conversation with some of you before, is to look at these, uh, let's see, one, two, three numbers, and say, well, at least they're all in the right ballpark. That's a good thing, okay? They're pretty close to each other, so I guess I'll kind of average them out. I'll take the mean, okay? That's a great way to go. What is the mean on these three numbers? 2.1. 2.1. Is it, is it like, is it, is it anything off 2.1? I guess you round it off? Yeah, I rounded them all off. Which makes sense because this is in the middle of those two. So I'm pretty happy with that number. Um, I'd give a big tick on that. Now, the reasoning why, there's a couple of things to it, I guess. Number one, they're all in the same ballpark. That's the first thing I'd say. Number two, remember I showed you just now. Ah, I froze it. I took off my iPad. Doesn't matter. I showed you what the syringe looked like before, right? There are more decimal places, but clearly you can't do anything with them because you can't measure them. So you don't need to worry about those. Okay? Um, I'd probably put one more reason on there, which is that when you look at all of these numbers, like they're all based off pretty similar numbers. Uh, one of the things that they haven't told you 
is that that's about right. That's about an average weight for a child of this age. Okay? Now suppose you have a baby who is, I don't know, maybe a baby who's premature. Something really, really tiny. So they're old, but maybe their weight is like off the chart. Something like that. That's way lower than it ought to be. If I change the situation, your numbers are all going to be different, right? Well, I take that back actually. One of the numbers will not be different. Which number is going to stay the same? The, the first two don't care about the mass, do they? Did you notice that? They're all about age. But you're going to know, okay, actually, age is not everything. Mass, this one's like off the chart, so that's why that third number I expect would be significantly lower. And you'd probably say, okay, rather than just average them out, I think that's probably going to be the most important number to me. Does that make sense? Don't just blindly use the numbers. You have to think about what they mean and therefore what you do as a result.